so we will start by taking or uh, adding a cube uh, click shift a and add a cube go into the edit mode and select the top face and scale it down so it looks more like a key then click n and into the dimensions set the dimension of the cube to uh, 0 0.18 and x into 0 0.18 y into 0 0.18 and the z direction in 0 0.11 so it looks more like a key then we have to select the edges that we want to make uh, smooth just select the edges and click ctrl p to bevel the edges so that it looks smooth do this for all four edges on the sides as well as the top edges and smooth it out then shade it smooth and turn on normal so we don't have weird shadings then insert the top face uh, two times and uh, delete the lower face of the key after that just smooth out the edges more and then select the inset face that we have inserted now uh, s make it move down a little so it looks nice uh, more like a key Mm, it has some nice edges and after that just apply the scale then duplicate the keys by shift T and make sure the distance between every key is same so just duplicate the keys and uh, make a shape of a keyboard however you want how many keys you want or you can just simply do and follow my steps what I am doing and make the same keyboard To make the side keys we just have to duplicate the same keys go into the edit mode and select the side edges and extrude in the direction we want to make the key longer do this for all the side keys that you want to make uh, bigger and make sure that the distance between each rows of keys is equal so it looks more natural and more symmetrical like a real keyboard after all that to make the base of the keyboard so we just uh, add a cube and scale the cube uh, in the shape of a in the shape of the keys that we have arranged here and just uh, move it down the keys and after that select the cube the and select the top face of the cube go into the edit mode and just insert the upper face of the cube and extrude down the inset face a little so it creates a space where we fit all our keys and after that go into the side view and make the base of the keyboard look a, a little smaller in the back and a little bigger in the front so uh, it's a little tilted uh, like the original keyboard I saw from the references and i think uh, all the part of the modeling is done but uh, we have to make sure that the base is not so harsh edges so we will smooth out the edges of the base and shade it smooth select all the edges that you want to smooth out and just bevel the edges to make it little smoother 
make sure that you don't have any weird shadings or you can just shade it smooth and turn on the normals uh, after that we will go into the uh, texturing process open a shading tab here and select the key you want to add the keyboard texture or just select the key and go into the shading tab and add an image texture open the image texture that you want to apply on the key and in the uv editors tab just uh, open your image that you have imported and select the top face of the key into the edit mode and for selecting the face make sure the face sits on the top of the image texture of the alphabet that you want your key to be and after that just do the same for all of the keys now here add a plane and make the plane set on the very bottom of the keyboard so we have something to put our keyboard on and I've made the resolution to 1920 to 9 into 1920 after setting our camera we have to add the lighting so I've added a spotlight and just uh, I have reduced the radius of the spotlight and we don't want the shadows to be very sharp so we will reduce the strength of the uh, spotlight and uh, we will rotate the spotlight so it uh, gives us a nice shadow uh, then we will add more lights because uh, we want to give it a studio look so i think we will use a three spotlight technique so i will also add area lights to it so let's add area light and this is the final result after i have added some extra details to the render and if you enjoyed the video make sure to like the video and for more contents make sure to subscribe my channel for now uh, bye guys meet you in the next one